Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. So this is a very short video and the final one before NEET PG about what all to revise on the last day before your exam and about exam day strategy as well. So you can watch this video on 2x since you should save every minute uh, these last couple of days before your exam or use a timestamp below for an effective viewing of this video. So a few topics that you should definitely cover on the day before your exam. Now this list is not extensive or complete, but it's very, very personal to my own preparation. Uh, it has things that I found difficult or volatile and yet high yield. So uh, you should also modify it according to your own preparation. But uh, the common things like anatomy is weak and volatile for most people. And an important thing is to do the arterial tree. One question definitely comes as well as nerve injuries integrated with ortho. Now one histo question and usually one dissection specimen does come in neat PG. But if you've already done that for INICT and you're confident with them, you don't need to do them again. However, if you want to do like touch up on them very uh, briefly, then at least do the MSK part of dissection, that is your basic muscles, unke action, nerve supply, uh, itna you can uh, do before your exam. Secondly, uh, microimages are also very high yield, uh, especially parasito images and you know the eggs, the microfilaria and different types of vectors and all. So definitely you can do them before the exam along with mycology images, morphology of various fungi, etc. Now, the cycles of Parasito are not as important for neat PG uh, as for INICT, so you can probably skip them if you don't have the time. And uh, if you've done DBMCI wipe before uh, for micro, it was a very good revision tool and you should definitely look at it again on the last day of the exam. Then two things that I usually do just before going into the exam are FMT IPCs and milestones of PEDS. Also for FMT stains like your hemin crystals, permin picrate, etc. Uh, are also volatile. You can do them on the last day. Then path translocations, especially the WBC ones, your uh, DLBCL, uh, Burkitt lymphoma, etc. So they usually ask translocations almost every year. It's a good idea to revise them. And if you have a little bit of time, uh, I always used to go through a significant portion of HEMAT uh, before the exam. So if you have that time, you can do it. And otherwise, if you're good at it, you can skip it and just see the translocations. Then blood transfusion reactions are very very important and uh, a good idea to see on the last day also the preservatives like uh, cpd and all and for how many days do they preserve etc so this is also frequently asked another volatile subject is your biochem so the clinical tables of biochem are a uh, very high yield and can be easily done on the last day so your glycogen storage disorders your sphingolipidosis mucopolysaccharidosis dyslipidemias or vitamin deficiency disorders so uh, just do them before the exam then certain formulas that are important one is your ebg formulas it will just take you 10 minutes to revise them and they are a must then your general pharma uh, formulas they're only like four or five uh, for clearance volume of distribution and you know your dosing rate formulas so just five six of these formulas um, as well as your renal physiology formulas and your PSM formulas, like your standard error and variance and, you know, a sample size. So just uh, revising the formulas in a very quick way. Then on to common instruments. Usually atypical instruments are not asked that much in the exam. So just briefly, if you could go through your surgery, gynae and ortho, common instruments and the tubes for medicine, like your Riles tube, etc. Like Riles tube, Foley's catheter and all. And as well as cannulas very very important very very favorite of the examiners and your path vials now one thing that has become recently important are the airway devices for, uh, from anesthesia so definitely look at them once your venturi mask and high flow nasal cannula etc and how much you know oxygen uh, percentage of oxygen and liters that they allow then uh, coming on to a little more of pharma so the antimicrobial only docs 
uh, you should look at once if you are weak in them or uh, usually my pharma was strong so apart from the uh, AMA DOCs and the general pharma formulas I did not touch upon it much but if it is especially weak any section then you can definitely go through pharma because it is volatile. Then uh, coming to Ophtha, now the retina images are asked and there are only about like 10 to 15 retina images of the very common disorders. You can quickly go through them. Now coming on to surgery, certain scores and classifications are important in surgery. So your CAP scores, your trauma scores especially and your splenic renal trauma grading etc. Todani and so all of these are frequently asked. You can definitely do them. Even Glasgow scoring is very very important. Then STDs from derma and gynae point of view both. When any other volatile tables or topics uh, that are also part of your 20th notebook, it's a great idea to see them before the exam. Like uh, basic ECGs if you have an issue with them or cancer stagings etc. And uh, the important thing to remember is that you don't have to completely delve into all of these topics. Uh, it is an exhaustive list and you can keep on adding to it. But remember, you only have limited time in the last day or last couple of days to go through these things. So you have to briefly revise them. You have done them before. Have faith. You already know them. Just briefly revise them so that you have a fresh memory at the time of the exam and you're more confident while marking these answers. Now, a couple of general things. Wake up early tomorrow as well as day after. Uh, don't take any afternoon naps. You basically want to uh, wake up early and be totally tired by the evening so that you can get a good night's sleep before the exam. I know it's easier said than done. But just try. Try your best. Chitna hota hai theek hai. Uske baad adrenaline will take you through. Don't worry. Now, admit card. Uh, get your admit card, photo, sign, everything ready tomorrow itself. You don't want to be in a panic situation one day before the exam where you already have so many things to worry about. Now coming on to your exam day strategy which is extremely important. First things first, please reach on time, please reach before time. Uh, weather is unpredictable in so many parts of the country. Last year a lot of people missed out on giving the exam simply because they were late and delayed due to the rains. So other ghantas are the solo gay ya parlo gay won't matter if you can't give the exam only. So keep that in mind, have the big picture and try to have a good breakfast so that it can, you know, you are not hungry in the middle of the exam. Then number of questions. So 195 questions uh, you should try to attempt for sure. Neat PG is a very scoring paper and it's plus four uh, marking for every correct question. So you should go aggressive and you should mark as many questions as possible. Now, time management uh, is usually not that difficult for NEET PG because you have a good three and a half hours for 200 questions. Uh, so, but you can keep uh, 30 to 35 questions in 30 minutes or 65 questions in one hour, whatever you find easier. And you will have enough time in the end to review a few of your questions that you've kept for review. Having said that, please don't keep too many questions for review. When you know it's a high stakes exam, you start doubting yourselves and end may uh, you end up keeping so many questions for reviews and because Neat PG gives you time, enough time also, you start doubting your first instinct answers and start changing them. So don't change your, you know, so many questions at the end. Uh, have faith uh, and you know whatever you've practiced in your GTs whether your first instinct you know does well or not you would personally know how you do in a paper so go with that don't try something completely new on you know on the day of your paper and also uh, be prepared for uh, any system errors like I had begun my paper and uh, the system completely shut down after about 10 questions. So things like that can happen to a few people. Uh, don't lose your focus and concentration. Try to solve the problem, call the administration and just be calm. So because you have to stay focused after your, uh, you know, the system recovers. So just stay calm, have a problem solving attitude on the day and a positive attitude for sure. And uh, I hope this was useful to you. All the very best for your exam. And let's see you on the other side. Bye-bye.